optic nerve. Destroy the nerve to blind the eye. Eckerd, it looks like the Eye of Truth is still active. What's happening? Damn it! There's another energy source connected to the optic nerve. Strong low temperature energy activity is being detected from the upper floor. Hurry up. <sighs> Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesser Power, and welcome to Toxic God, my Freena crowd control build for the first descendant. We're using the Fallen Hope assault rifle. We got it fully enhanced. We got 150% skill effect range, and we got 75% skill cooldown. This build is one of the funnest builds that you'll probably even make I'll ever make in the first descendant. The crowd control is just so awesome to basically just poison everything you can even compete with bunny on this setup but don't forget to like comment subscribe let's get into the build all right man first we're gonna knock out the descendant modules the first module you need is contagion you need this on the build for it to work properly this is how i'm basically shooting out using her skill one time to kill mobs of enemies it says when an enemy is inflicted with room zero trauma is killed there is a contagion of poisonous a poison surrounding it so basically whenever i kill an enemy inflicted with room zero trauma it shoots out a poisonous gas that hits multiple enemies and that's how you need skill effect range to inflict it into a large range instead of just hitting like one or two enemies all right for our next skill we got skill expansion skill effect range plus 92.3 percent like i said you need as much skill effect range on this build as possible next we got focus on tech tech skill power modifier plus 66.2 percent skill cooldown minus 6.1 percent then we got focus on toxic toxic skill power plus 77.2 percent skill cooldown minus 6.1 percent um next we got hp collector when defeating an enemy, instantly recover 9% of max HP. The cooldown is 2 seconds. And like I said, with this build, you'll be killing mobs of enemies. So basically, every 2 seconds, you'll be getting HP. So you want to make sure you max out HP Collector as soon as possible. Alright man, the next module we got is Multi-Talented. So it says, when using the Tech Active Skill, Skill Range, and Power Modifier, plus 15%. And all you have to do is just use the skill. You use the skill and you get the extra 15% range and the 15% extra skill power modifier, which is great. Um, next, we got long distance maneuvering. This turns your uh, grappling hook long range, which is great. This is my favorite. I wouldn't even switch it for anything unless I was making like a melee build. Um, next, we got increased HP, max HP plus 218.5. And then we got Nimble Fingers, skill cooldown minus 25.6%. 
Next, we got amplification control skill effect range plus 51.7%. Uh, so that's more skill effect range we get. And then we got a max shield plus 36.5%, which is okay. Um, next, we got iron defense. Defense plus 89.8%. And then we get a skill power modifier plus 12.7%. So that's a little bit of extra damage. And then we got uh, MP conversion, skill cooldown minus 36.5% and max MP minus 15%. And you'll be killing so many mobs, you won't even notice that the MP is missing because you'll just basically just be picking up blocks of MP. All right, next we're gonna check out the Fallen Hope Assault Rifle. Um, as you can see, I got the unique ability fully maxed out. It was a hard grind, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, the hit fire accuracy is at minus 20%. We got the aim shot accuracy at minus 20% as well. Um, the firearm attack actually stayed the same. The trigger rate increase is at 40%. We got a radius of 6 meters. And then we got additional damage at 75% of the explosion. I think that did change as well. Um, I wish they increased the firearm attack, but that's not too bad. All right, next we're gonna knock out the stats for the Fallen Hope. We got a Toxic Attack at 1588. We got Firearm Critical Hit Damage at 43.7. We got the Firearm Attack at 10%. And then we got the Critical Hit Rate at 14.6%. All right, if we take a look at the modules, I went with Fire Rate plus 25%. We got Action and Reaction, um, Firearm Attack plus 61% recoil plus 20%. We got reload focus, reload time modifier plus 25% and firearm critical hit damage plus 6.5%. The reason why I went with this is because we're also running um concentration priority priority. This is gonna give you 120% critical hit damage, but uh take away from your reload time. So I did that to ba basically balance the reload time. Um, next we got edging shot. This is gonna decrease your firearm attack by 15%, but instead it gives you 43, 43 critical hit chance. And I do notice that most of your damage actually comes from your crits, not just your raw damage. So the more that you can crit on your build, the better. Um, next we got uh, weak point damage um, plus 35%. You can actually swap this out for uh, when, whenever you're fighting like Colossus. If you decide you want to take this build and go Boston, um, I would suggest swapping this out for like real life fighter. And this can give you up to 100% extra uh, firearm damage whenever you're hitting weak spots. Because this stacks up to 10 and it, it gives you 10% um, firearm damage each stack. So if you're going to fight bosses, try using real life fighter. It's decent. Um, next we got a uh, better insight. So this is going to increase your firearm critical hit rate by 39% Then we got better concentration firearm critical hit damage by 74.8% We got uh, rifling reinforcement firearm attack plus 32% We got toxic enhancement at toxic attack equal to the 30% of the firearm attack And then lastly we got concentration priority and as you can see, if you look at my stats, I actually have 201 crit hit damage. And we have about 82% uh, crit hit chance, which is actually pretty decent. All right, next real quickly, I just want to knock out her skills. Um, This build is based around her first skill and her third skill. So the first skill is Venom Trauma. This is the main skill that you want to be using. As you can see, we got a two second cooldown on this, which is insane and the radius is increased from 3 meters to 7.3 meters so this covers a decent amount of range like when you shoot this you want to aim at multiple enemies instead of just one enemy like shoot it in the middle of a crowd and they'll basically just take out the crowd the whole crowd because we got contagion and when you get to the harder enemies that take like multiple ticks you basically want to shoot a uh, venom trauma and then shoot putrid venom like shoot them together so you shoot one and then right after you shoot the other and aim for the middle of the mobs so that you can you can put out like maximum damage and um 
our putrid venom actually has a 4.8 second cooldown which is really decent and that cover covers a more area of effect as well um her second skill is just basically um armor and then you can use this whenever you want it has a 3.8 cooldown so soon this run out you already been have it back and her fourth skill you can use this but i found out that it really like slows me down you really have to build around this skill to use it but um yeah all right man lastly we're gonna knock out the reactor and the external components this reactor took me a whole week to get i just got that reactor today actually to drop this build i didn't even want to drop it because i had a purple reactor but i finally got this one today um i'm gonna actually show y'all how to get to this reactor as well we got the toxic mechanic reactor with the fallen hope mounting so we get that 160 skill power we got toxic and tech skill power boost ratio and for my extra stats i got skill cooldown and tech skill power boost ratio so real quickly i just want to show y'all how to get to it so right now we at the map you press this and then you go to general rounds slap in toxic and then you will want to put tech and then you can see it's in the frozen valley area and this is the area the main mission you want to farm is this farm right here and you'll basically just get a bunch of gold drops and i'm telling you do it while you can because this resets this week so you want to farm this right now all right lastly we're gonna knock out the venom essence auxiliary power um the two piece gives you toxic skill power 6.2 percent the four piece gives you technical rifle assault rifle fire armor tribute effect trigger rate plus 12 percent and then for each poison stack inflicted upon enemies firearm attack plus two percent skill power modifier plus 0.7 percent for five seconds at 30 percent uh chance and then it has up to 10 stacks and a five second duration um for the stats we got max shield max hp and then we got the db and no duration um next we got defense max mp chill resistance i normally like to go for uh defense max hp and then some type of resistance next we got defense we got defense again and then we happen to get resistance this was a decent one and then we got max hp and then we got toxic resistance and then max shield which is also decent as well but that's the build don't forget to like comment subscribe i appreciate all you guys for coming through and checking out my builds i'm gonna try to be more quicker dropping videos for you guys these video these descendant videos actually take a lot of time especially if you plan on maxing them even if you happen to buy everything you still gotta grind and level it up which is insane but don't forget to like comment subscribe i appreciate all you guys for coming through deuces